For the year 2015, there have been two boxer movies, Southpaw and Creed. And now it's time to decide which one is the better movie. Sorry, Southpaw, but Creed just killed you. Now, I do have to be honest, when I saw the trailers for both Southpaw and Creed, I definitely was more excited for Creed. That's not to say I didn't like Southpaw. I thought Southpaw was a really good movie. I do love the director, and it does have its flaws, and I can understand still why some people might think Southpaw is even better than Creed, or why they think Southpaw might be one of their favorite films of the year. It's definitely a good movie. But for me, Creed knocked it out of the park. Creed ultimately continues the story of the Rocky series, but this time through a different perspective. In fact, this movie is truly about the title character, Adonis Creed, who is played excellently by Michael B. Jordan, and, well, he's technically the bastard child of Apollo Creed. And so now he wants to become a fighter, a boxer, just like his father, but kind of wants to make it on his own merits rather than just being the son of Apollo Creed. But he's self-taught. He hasn't been properly trained. And so, of course, he enlists the help of Rocky Balboa, played by Sylvester Stallone. And then I think that's all I need to say about it because it is a boxing movie and you can pretty much guess what is going to happen with the main plot. Plus, the trailer does divulge the fact that something happens to Rocky Balboa that I won't spoil too much of even though it is quite clear in the trailer. This movie is a phenomenal film to watch, and I loved every second of it. <laughs> I did. I loved every second of it. This is not one of the Rocky movies that's just about boxing and nothing else. This is one of the Rocky movies that follows along the lines more of a drama with boxing in it. All the actors in this film completely nail it. Great supporting acting from Tessa Thompson, who is the love interest of Creed in this movie, and yeah, the subplot romance did not feel tacked on at all in this movie. It felt like it fit, and there's a lot of interesting things within that story. And Apollo Creed's widow is played marvelously by Miss Huxtable, of all people. She was amazing. <laughs> amazing. Of course, Michael B. Jordan has another outstanding performance, and yeah, he's definitely one of those people to look for because he is a really good dramatic actor. But another surprise with this film was Sylvester Stallone, who didn't feel like he was phoning it in this time like so many other movies lately. He really brought it, and yeah, he really is Rocky Balboa. And another thing that made me really anticipate this film is the director, Ryan Coogler, who you probably know directed Fruitvale Station, which is another really great film. And yeah, this totally feels like his film. It feels like it definitely still fits in the Rocky universe, but some of the techniques, the camera angles, the really great acting, the lighting, a lot of it really does feel like the same as Fruitvale Station. And so, Ryan Coogler really feels like he's made it his own. The boxing scenes were really amazing, and yes, Southpaw had some really great fight scenes as well. Like, damn good. But Creed brought it, because there are some shots during some of these fight scenes that are really breathtaking. And I'm, not, and I'm not just talking about some of the slow-mo shots. Yeah, the second fight, there's three fights in this movie. The second fight, there's no cut, or at least there doesn't seem to be any cut whatsoever. It feels like one long take, and it is really amazing. There's honestly not a lot of cuts in the other two either. While there are cuts, obviously because they jump to other people's reactions and they do change angles, there's a lot of moments where it's just a lot of fluid action, a lot of fluid fighting, and without so many crazy cuts and no, <laughs> no camera shaking whatsoever, thank God. But ultimately, this movie is more of a drama than it is boxing, even though it is about a boxer. It's definitely more of a drama, and yes, Southpaw tried to do some of the same things with trying to keep it dark and gritty, but I think... 
Creed did it a lot better, and it's not just because it may be not as gritty or as dark, and it may be more mainstream, but really, I thought it was really effective the way Creed did it, because it didn't feel over dramatic, it didn't feel melodramatic, it didn't feel so dark and depressing like Southpaw sometimes did, but it still managed to feel that really nice emotional impact while still making an entertaining and dramatic movie. Plus, Creed handled its subplots really well because they were well integrated in the overall story, and none of them was left hanging like some of them in Southpaw. Now, I'm not going to deny that there are cliches in this movie. There are certain plot points that you expect in a boxing movie and a lot of plot points that you expect in a Rocky movie because there are a lot of parallels to the original Rocky movies in Creed almost to the point where it feels like a remake of Rocky just with Apollo Creed's son as the main character instead. But the overall quality of the film, the great acting, everything about this film helped boost it to a much higher level than just feeling like a rehash. It's just a really epic and really nice surprise, people. Just, if you're gonna go see it, go see it. And if you're still on the fence, and maybe you're not as big of a Rocky fan or whatnot, but I think you can still love this movie on its own merits rather than it being a Rocky film. Like, I do know a few people that refuse to see this movie because it's a Rocky film. Like, they don't want to see it because Sylvester Stallone's in it, and that's pretty much it. Don't be one of those people. Just, just trust me. It's really great. I think you've probably guessed what the rating's going to be for Creed, but I have to say it anyway. Creed, for me, is five stars. It's honestly one of the best movies I've seen this year, and I know I say that to a lot of my five-star movies, or movies I give five stars to, but currently Creed is my number four favorite film of this year. Just under Ex Machina, The Martian, and Fury Road, Mad Max. Yeah some really steep competition, honestly. So have you seen Creed? What did you think about it? Go ahead and comment. If you haven't, what is your favorite Rocky movie or your favorite boxing movie? Either one. And as always, this is Bruce Gifford, and this was just my opinion.